If you're anything like me, a good, reliable coffee is a crucial part of my morning routine. Uh, it's almost 10.30 and I haven't even had one today. Uh, so let's go and make a coffee. Very good. Happy New Year. I didn't plan on making this video, but this has got to be one of the best mods I've done to the 79. Uh, I'm just gonna say it, it has completely game changed my morning routine. You can go hit that subscribe button. Um, but I know coffee machines, camping and 79 series put together, they're very polarizing subjects. Uh, but I wanna share this with you guys because it's been so convenient and it's starting to save me a lot of time and some money as well. I'm gonna start the video by saying that you can never produce uh, the same flavor of coffee, the same fragrance, uh, the depth of the coffee as a barista made coffee. It's just not gonna happen. So I've calculated for the past five years, I've spent about 8,000 on coffee alone. That's not including breakfast. Um, so about a month ago, about 30 pods ago, I made the switch over to a pod machine and I haven't looked back and surprisingly it tastes pretty good. So in this video we're gonna have a look at my coffee setup, uh, we'll have a look at the 12 volt system behind this whole thing which is powering it um, and hopefully it'll help you make the right decision. Check out this spot, Woo. very nice. So this is the Creatista Plus machine in the brush stainless steel finished and I bought this during the Black Friday sales for just over 700 bucks. So Nespresso market this machine to produce your cafe style coffees. Uh, so you got cappuccinos, lattes, flat whites, lungos, espressos, ristrettos, that kind of thing. So that's why it's got the automatic uh, steam wand. Now this one will warm and froth milk and it's also self cleaning Although it's designed to be used as an automatic machine, uh, there's a nice way up here and you can go in and fine tune all your coffees. So you've got milk temp, you've got the coffee volume uh, and the amount of froth. Um, so yeah, they all save on the machine. I've got mine fine tuned for me. 1.5 litre water tank at the back and it's removable, but you can also fill it up from the top. There's an access lid over there. Just clips right back on. Uh, 12 capsule container, which needs to be emptied. Uh, drip tray, which comes right off. Uh, so yeah, very, very easy to maintain and use this machine. Now I know I'm going to get asked this, um, I have base mounted the machine onto a piece of 3mm thick aluminium. On the bottom of the machine you can remove these rubber feet, there are four feet. Just unscrew them and then screw the machine down to the aluminium plate and then I just bolted it down onto the canopy. So it's really sturdy, she's mounted good, uh, she's not going anywhere.
So being a 240 volt home appliance, this machine will normally plug into a standard power port, you know, the one with the three holes. Um, so to power this 240 volt machine in a 12 volt system, it's a little bit more complicated. So uh, we have to convert 12 volt DC current into 240 volt AC current, which is what the inverter does. Being an 1800 watt machine, I've chosen the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Red Arc and it runs directly to my secondary lithium battery I've got here in the canopy. What's probably just as important as the inverter itself is the battery. So not necessarily the capacity of it, that's kind of important, um, but more important is the maximum continuous discharge current that battery is rated for. So in here, I've got the Voltex Pro, the 300 amp hour, rated to a max continuous discharge of 200 amp hours. Um, so being an 800 watt machine, if you do some quick maths, it's 1800 watt under 12 volt would be about 150 amps. Um, so 200 amps maximum minus the 150 will give us 50 amps of uh, headroom. So, you know, at the moment I'm running my lights, the fridge, that kind of thing. To power a coffee machine, you're not going to be able to reliably do that with an AGM battery. Don't even attempt this with lead acid. Unfortunately, lithium is the only way to go uh, when doing something like this. Size your cable to the inverter and you shouldn't have any problems. This can be a very reliable setup. Being my first pod machine, I spent a long time picking which was right for me. Um, so the first consideration was the type of coffee I drink. Um, for me, I only drink one coffee. It's a flat white with one sugar, which means I definitely have to have a milk warmer and the froth function is just optional. Uh, the second consideration is the real estate of the machine. I was only interested in hard mounting it onto the canopy and it really needed to fit in this space here and enough for my door to open as well, fridge door to open as well. Um, so yeah, this was the perfect machine for the setup. 10 mil extra in any direction and this just wouldn't fit. Because of how tight this was gonna fit, what was really helpful was Nespresso's augmented reality app. Uh, you can just pull it up on your phone and you're able to position uh, the coffee machine virtually on your screen with the camera on your phone. I guess the next thing to consider is the wattage of a machine. So based on my research, all these mid-range machines vary between 1200 watts or about 2000 watts. Um, but on my observation of the revision monitor, it doesn't really pull anything over 130, 140 amps. So you might be able to get away with a 1500 watt inverter, but I'd probably recommend a 2000 watt inverter just to be on the safe side. So as you can see, the machine is super easy to use and the cleanup really is minimal. Um, I've got a million bibs at home, so I grab one of those and I just wet it with a tap on the other side and give the one a good clean after every use and just replace it every few days. Um, in terms of storage of the pods, I haven't really figured it out yet. Apparently you're not meant to keep them in the fridge, but I also don't want to keep it in the car either for the really hot days. So at the moment, I've got it inside the Bushman fridge. It's living in an old thermos, just quickly show you. So just an assortment of pods in there um, and it just lives in the fridge at the moment. So the milk jug also lives here. So I just gave it a rinse out and then just straight back in the fridge uh, and milk there as well. So very simple and basic setup at the moment and it really works. Um, one month of not a single barista made coffee for me. Uh, I wouldn't think this would be possible. So I'm really happy with this setup. If you have any questions about any of this, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, but at the moment there is a storm rolling in. Uh, I can really hear it. It's getting closer. Um, but before we say bye, I wanna show you guys this spot. Uh, I'm in the St. Albans Wiseman's area at the moment. Just been doing some exploring today, but this is a cracker spot. I'm just on top of a cliff edge. I don't know why I always find myself in these positions. Um, but yeah, I don't want to get too close to that edge. I think that's going downstream, but it is a really beautiful spot. Um, and some nice tracks to get in here. So uh, I'm going to do a bit more exploring and I'm heading off home. Have a happy new year and I'll see you guys in 2024.